Alma sur la nyato tala, albedo kwa mina alma sur la lbulu, alma la nyato tadi ala, Allahumma salli wa barke, Rabbana taqabal salatu na salatu lukasain, wa kiratu na kiratu lzaakirin, wa rukuina 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 wadiin, wa sujuna sujuna wa kilin, wa tasawda na tasawda salihin, wa salamu na salamu al muminin, wa faalna filu al faizin, wa lisaadna lisaadna lzaakirin, wa khulubu na khulubu lukasain, wa khayatu na khayatu lusalihin, wa muatna mawar saidin birahmatika, ya arham rahim ni rabbal alamin, la khwala wa la khwata ila billah li lulad Imam Muniru Jerejef. Mbokai li mwomlelena GRTS Amalon pour khutbe ginga khamne mwomlelena jilala chidekhgi. Chingonsi, insha Allah, nanylen indil juli banjulgi ak juli ginga khamne mwomlelena jile si kombogi. Jerejef, jewe natilen imanya For the Gambia's exuberant 45-year-old president, leadership is a duty, a responsibility and a commitment that must be carried out by example. But the task at the State House fits conveniently into President Yaya Jammeh's natural capacity to move and move others along. Not even the grandeur of authority will affect his love for labor. Born into a great agrarian community in Kanilai, in the Gambia's western region, Jame grew up in an environment endowed with a beautiful ecology, potent for agriculture. This was the ground where the seeds of his interest in nature were sown. Agriculture is the backbone of this country. As a president, I must be involved in it to know the constraints and what farmers go through. President Jame's emergence on the national stage has been a titanic revolution, positively impacting every single sector. His initial task was to issue a symbolic call on all Gambians to revisit the land and enliven a natural vocation and way of life. His prophetic admonition was advised by God-given wisdom and endowment that could read into the lessons of contemporary social experience and history. Once upon a time, the Gambia was a giant agricultural producing nation where the indigents toiled on the land and produced plenty for household subsistence. This legacy, more than anything else, caught the attention of President Jame, who was determined to redeem an aggravating national malady. Gifted with an insight into the terrain of farming in the country, Jame exemplifies the proverbial hero of reform that has seen the redirection of agriculture in the small and peaceful West African country. Farming is one activity where you can relax, which is natural, and you feel a sense of fulfillment. Also, uh, from a religious and spiritual point of view, uh, you, you, I believe that uh, tilling the soil also has a lot of benefits in it, and uh, it's one way of worshiping the Almighty Allah. His duty station is not only at the palace, but also on the farm where he leads a genuine national effort to change the course of history. President Jame dedicates his zeal in farming to cultivating vast areas of land with a wide variety of crops.
process is always an exciting one by the energetic president whose personal participation and supervision produces optimal yields from the fields. You must know that agriculture is time intensive. You must be there to see what is going on. That's why very often I go to Tanuna, not because uh, for anything, but I have to see what is going on. Due to his humble personality, Jame puts aside his presidential cap to toil and sweat in the field on the rain and shine. His annual holidays are dedicated to several weeks of active farming in his home village of Kanilai. There, the president returns to a deep-rooted practice ingrained in his orientation and philosophy. Back to the land, he tells young Gambians, and he is always the first at the beginning of the rainy season to retire to the extensive fields of Fony for real farming. If I have not gone back to the land, who would be interested in going to see a farm? You understand? But at least people from an early age, students, go there and say, oh, I also want to be like the President Jammeh. Even if I become president, also I want to be a farmer. From the vantage point of a seasoned farmer, the president's skillful input into farming strategies represents natural expertise that the agrarian population always finds more than useful. From his technical know-how of environmental and perennial factors in agronomy to his broad understanding of generic crop identity and the agricultural production chain, Jami has a thorough mastery of the business of farming. Above all, he is not only familiar with the dynamics of the world agricultural economy, but has successfully influenced global agricultural trends. His mantra for sustainable progress in the sector is diversification, a successful approach that vividly characterizes his own agricultural ventures. President Jame's home village of Kanilai is the site of a mega agricultural embarkation involving several hectares of land used for crop cultivation. In Canada, we avoid as much as possible using this chemical fertilizer. We use a natural way of fertilizing the soil using uh, animals, ranging from cattle, sheep, and The ingenuity in Jamis farming strategy produces plenty and variety, including both local and external breeds, never too different to be domesticated. One very important cereal essential for the daily lives of most Gambians is rice. It is the country's staple, available in many species and with a strong market value. Since it is the staple diet of this country, it consumes almost 80% of our foreign uh, hard currency. It is important that we, we, we grow it here and, and change the status quo. President Jame attaches great value to rice cultivation, while the swampy soil of Fony and some other parts of the Gambia aid the production of the national staple. To strengthen the idea of agricultural diversification, the president also emphasizes the need for farmers to produce other varieties of cereals, nuts, and vegetables, such as maize, sorghum, groundnut, and cassava, just to name a few. Canelai's vast fields for cultivation are present within an environment of natural forests and well-tended orchards and gardens. These products are not only useful for their subsistence and dietary values, they also have an economic price, both in the domestic and foreign markets. Groundnuts, for instance, are known to be the traditional cash crop of the Gambia, and President Jame has taken enviable strides to enable local farmers improve its cultivation. He has provided farm tractors and other accessories to locals as part of his broader policy scheme to mechanize agriculture. Manning the portfolio of agricultural minister is an exercise of expedience that brings the president closer to the issues underlying the sector and places him in a better stead to supervise this very important area.